This has been very challenging for all of us. Bus companies scrambling to find enough drivers for the fall and now creating plans to keep those drivers and students safe amid COVID-19. In transportation, we want to support the schools. We don't want to limit. It's hard for us to say you can't do that. It's like, how can we make this work for you? John Thomas, president of the Minnesota Association for Pupil Transportation, says under state guidelines, all buses can be loaded up to 50% capacity, so about 35 to 40 kids per bus, depending on how big it is. Drivers must be at least six feet from students, so the first and second seats behind the driver may be blocked off. Everyone must wear a mask. Weather permitting, all windows must stay open. Buses will be deep cleaned at least once per day, and drivers must go through a medical checklist every day. These changes are a lot for everyone as bus companies try to figure out how many students will actually ride this fall. Thomas says the best way parents can help drivers, be patient and don't switch your plans last minute. It'll be hard as if we start school on a weekend of the school year, a uh, family sits here and says, well, this isn't working out for us. We're going to put the, our child on the bus tomorrow. Well, we may not have a seat for them on the bus tomorrow. So contact your transportation department, let them know that you want to change your status, and they'll tell you when's the next available time that they can make that work. So also want to mention that family members uh, will be encouraged to sit together in the same seat on the bus versus mixing in with friends right away. So again, a lot of rules for these bus companies to adjust to, and it's going to be a big adjustment for everybody involved, right? Yeah. The bus companies, I mean, everyone really trying to do the best they can uh, given this unprecedented time. Yeah, parents got to be on top right. of it. You can't just make a split decision mm -hmm. that the kid's going to ride the bus. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have to really pay attention. Thanks, Ellery.